I've always wanted to do neon and I've also always tended to do things that people told me I wouldn't be able to do. Artist Nick McKnight makes commercial neon signs at Burke Enterprise in Montville, a day job that's allowed him to develop the skills to achieve his personal artistic vision in neon sculpture. I saw videos of people practicing it and the way that they're moving the glass and the way that you're blowing into the tubes and it just it looked incredibly f fun and uh, just super interesting and the fact that the art form, the genre, materials, nothing has changed in a hundred years, it just really interested me. The process of creating a finished neon sculpture is long and tedious. Before I even go to bend a piece of glass, I have to make a pattern. So McKnight demonstrated the steps for us, using several pieces he already has in progress. I've always painted, I've done printmaking, I've done all sorts of forms of artwork. Text has always been a part of what I have incorporated into different um, parts of my practice. Certain words are more important than others, but uh, certain phrases are, they just come up and they, they linger for a while and it rattles around in my brain. And a lot of the material, like glass, not just the phrasing, but the glass and the gases um, that I use are metaphorical in that certain piece. Like helium in ghost light is based on where it comes from and how the sun creates it and how stars release it after they burn out. Ghost light came from a lot of different experiences in my personal life with loss and grief and that phrase basically deals with that and questions what happens after a loved one passes away and you don't really know what to do. I had written it down as a part of a poem and sometimes when I start a poem I have this phrase already written down or it'll come later and then the rest of the poem I'll scrap and keep that phrase because it's just more important and that just never fit anywhere on the page and I needed it to be in neon. Now turn on the vacuum. Language in general just interests me and having it on a wall or in a different context than a page, it just, it really speaks to me. Turn this on. And it's different than just a painting or a sculpture that you look at and invokes different things, different feelings. It's kind of like when you're reading a book and you have that, that movie, that individually, that movie that you have in your head of, of what's going on in the book versus seeing that book that was made into a movie that's shown right there for you.